What up, what up, what up, what up? This your boy, Comedic Energy. Your boy, Cray. And this is the Dirty. Dirty. Rio. <laughs> oh, we always mess this up. <laughs> 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, 30. And we got back with us. Dirt, dirt, dirty. Dynasty. Dirt, dirt, dirty. How y'all doing? Come dirt, on dirt, in. Dirt, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's her intro music. <laughs> oh, shoot. The Dirty 30 with your girl Dynasty. She back, man. She back. Whoo, man. I'm, I just want to know what you want to talk about today. Well, going back off what we did on the last season, you know, the last episode, women exchange currency just touching off that what are you willing to do that you want your partner to do how are you going to come to a compromise it doesn't even have to be a partner it could be anything you're saying yeah. how, how do you compromise in whatever you do if you want somebody to do something mm -hmm. you're going to do that same thing that they want to do for whatever it is it doesn't have to be mm. a partner or it could be a partner I mean I feel Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Clay. You're fine. No, I was gonna say like it is. It is always it's always easy to ask someone to do something versus doing what you're asking them to do yourself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people are hypocrites. You know, like we ask for a lot of shit from people, but our our we ourselves aren't willing to give it up but we become like the victim in the situation when they're not doing what we're asking. You know what I'm saying? But I'm it's like... looked at it like that. Yeah. Because, and then like you flip it and then like, so now you're attacking me because you want me to do something that you yourself wouldn't even do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But since you can't receive with, with what you want from me, now I never give you anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could offer you everything and it still not be enough because you aren't getting the one thing or the two things that you're asking me for. I totally agree with that. You so said like real, real deep, friend. And when mm, you read it, I'm gonna bring you back. That's okay. Mm. So like when I think about myself, am I willing to? It's, it's I have to figure I First, I have to think about like what is it that I'm asking for, and how much do I really want it? Is it really worth going through the necessary process of like the psychological battle between the both of us? Like, okay, or you know, I'm not gonna do it because you want to do it. Da -da -da -da, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you want me to do this, but you can't do this, and it's like, is it worth it? You know, or can I just wait for them to naturally do it? And if they never do it, is that okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I told so, it's like before I ask you something because me personally I don't ask a lot from a lot of people mm -hmm. most of the time I'm doing shit on my own Comedic could tell you that you know what I'm saying he always tells me like you know what I'm saying it's, dog you you gotta you, you, you know what I'm saying if you need help just ask for help son somebody's gonna help you you know what I'm saying yeah. but me myself I have a hard time doing that because I've been such an independent type of individual mm -hmm. my, whole, my whole life so it really takes a lot for me to ask somebody to do something but then when i ask someone to do something it's like i have this mindset like okay now you need to do it exactly how i would do it if i was doing it you know what i'm saying then you got to battle with that shit like oh these motherfuckers gonna do it but it's gonna take forever to damn do the shit you know mm. so am i willing to yeah but there's a process. I'll say that much. Okay. And the topic and the aspect that I was thinking, it was on the same concept. I feel your drift. But mm -hmm. let's see if anybody's thoughts will change because you know this is Dirty Mouth Radio. <laughs> <laughs> What's your reasoning? Go ahead, home. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I don't know. In that aspect, <clears throat> I grew up kind of being independent trying to do it all on your own. And that's what I I was always priding myself on. I didn't need nobody to do nothing, right? But it comes a point in your life where you can't really just do it all. You really can't. You know, you spread yourself too thin. Things end up happening. And a lot of people think that 
things that happen to their health is supposed to be natural when you're being independent. No, it's your body not being able to take everything that you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. You need to, your body's going to tell you you need the help, even if your mind won't. Right. And a lot of people, they overlook that. Or they just brush it off as nothing and try to deal with the weight that's pretty much on their body. You know what I'm saying? And I had to come to grips with that a long time ago. So now I have no problem asking somebody for something. You know, it may not be a lot, but I'm going to ask them for something. You see what I'm saying? If I can't do it myself. Or if I know that it's going to be taxing on me. If I try to do that plus everything else I'm trying to do. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it, it just comes with a give and take. And then it depends on the person. It depends on your relationship with the person. You know, all those factors come into play. Y'all real deep tonight. So this is what I'm talking about. Let's get to the dirty gurney. Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so sexually, if I'm with a person, this is relationship because there's two perspectives. So we about dirty, dirty. And look, we about to bring it back. We both have our perspectives and it's going to make us think. Mm-hmm. There's two G spots. There's a, wim- a female G spot and there's a male G spot, right? And men mm-hmm. always aim to please the woman and they want the woman to take pictures, and have threesomes, and keep their body in shape, you know, etc. So when it comes down to those things in a relationship or whatever type of ship you want to call it, because there's many out there, will you be willing for the lady to play with your G spot? It's the size of a walnut. It's right underneath the scrotum and in the butthole. And oh, you know, hell no. I just want to know, oh, in the man. event no. that you want your woman or whoever you're dealing with to have all this bullshit that we got to do for society, you need to understand <laughs> that you have the same perspective. You was talking good and he was talking good. Now let's put it together. Let's see if we can do this. That's all I'm saying. So in layman's terms, you're trying to say, would you let your girl butt? Yeah. Can she do what a deal though? Can she play in there and get you to stay harder for her all night? I mean, this ain't being raunchy, but this is the same shit that you asked us to do. Am I wrong or am I right? (laughs) (laughs) So I admit that, you know, the world is built on double standards. That's just what it is. Nah. Mm. Now, if you just flumsing around, you asking for aid, yes, in my do. opinion. I understand. Yeah. But if you've been with somebody and that's a person that you're going to be with and you have that trust, why not? What the fuck? If you want to be historical and we want to go to factuals, if you want to let's be illogical here, back in the Roman times in English, men only dated and mated with women to create human, to, to continue to breed. Mm-hmm. They were attracted to each other. They kept their bodies in shape. They were always around each other. They formed relationships. In society, when you're at work, you begin to like the motherfuckers that you're around. You're always there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it on a historical point when I've read in books, whether it's true or false, and putting it into a realistic perspective. I mean, I understand what you're saying. So it takes you back to that same question. And other historical parts where Jamaicans were made fun of because of dreads and it was there to, you know, make them feel demasculated in front of their family. Now we want to presume it as a different spectrum. Sagging, for example. I mean, let's, whatever audience I'm attracting, we're attracting tonight being a guest on the show. We need to have different forms of this. You guys have presented it to me in a different form. You didn't even know I was going to get it. <laughs> now, it's you know, let me put it in your booty or no. Can I play with the scrotum? Can I pleasure you? Can I see what it does for you? Can I understand why men turn gay or what? What? Craig, we can't hear you, man. Sorry, y'all. Technical difficulties. While he's getting that together. So... I, I see what you're saying with that. that is, that's one hell of a loaded ass question, okay? That's the first thing, all right? It takes a lot of trust in a relationship, 
I would think for shit like that to be going on, right? Now, I've always been the proponent of what you do in your relationship is what you do. You feel what I'm saying? From a man and woman perspective, whatever y'all do is what y'all do. I don't call that shit gay because it's still a man and a woman. Whatever the hell y'all do. And that's the thing, right? So for me, that's just not going to work for me. Mm. This doesn't work for me. And I'm not trying to be no toxic masculinity or nothing like that. I know macho man. I'm just saying what pleases me ain't back there. You know? So, right. Yeah. I, I, I think pers- personally, I think it just depends on the on the guy. Like some dudes do like that shit. Yeah. It ain't me though. I ain't you ain't about to stick no fingers <laughs> up my butt. Hole. I'm not with it. I'm sorry. I'm just Tell not with it. Yeah, see that real like me, like you can say whatever you can say whatever about a man, but you don't no, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. No. That's not what the butt hole is for. I'm not about to that's not what the butt hole is for. But what happened to what you were saying earlier? Like if am I willing to like it, it's gotta be you gotta have okay. You gotta have standards for yourself. You gotta have places that you will go and then places that you won't. Because if you don't have no boundaries, then you just gonna go wherever. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. One thing leads to the next. She blindfolds you. <laughs> she blindfolds you. She know that you like it in the butt. So now she bring another dude in there. Oh, oh no. shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now it's no. There's no bars because you haven't set any ground rules. It's like. Anything well, old. I'm willing to bring another girl in here. Why can't I bring another guy? Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Don't ask her to do that shit then. <laughs> shit just ain't rocking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if you think about it, don't ask her to do it. But see, this on the other hand of that, right? But like, have to go if she's that? cool with it. But my thing, All right, I'm sorry. Go my ahead. thing is, my thing is this. If I ask you and you cool with it, then you cool with it. Exactly. If I'm not cool, if I'm not cool with it, then I'm not cool with it. Why do I have to and be that's, cool that's, with that's, it? That's what you I'm cool with about. it. That's what you I'm know? talking about. If you cool with it, you cool with it. All right. But if I'm not cool with it, why does what I'm cool with it gotta come into jeopardy? Because I'm right. not cool with the other. All right, exactly. That's, that's the shit that be blowing me. Now no, we gotta I'm, take away uh, the shit that I'm cool with just because I'm not cool with what you right. want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cool with the reverse. <laughs> From my point of view as a woman, I would want my man to compromise with me like that because it's the give and take and you want me to be with you till I die. We didn't make vows or whether we've thought that in our brains, whether it's legal or, you know, we've been common law. You have to think about that. A woman shows her love in that manner, going to great lengths to show something for her spouse, whether it's a man or woman, you can just say man these days. So I'm looking at it in a give and take way. I love hard as an individual. So if you got a flimsy little bitch that don't care and be like, yeah, baby, you don't have to do that. You know, fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. A stupid uh-huh. bitch that ain't got no brain is just fucking the shit out of her. It's great. And just, she'll do whatever you want. That's dumb. Because yeah. everybody has a purpose in life. Are you going to let a nigga play you like that? Damn. Some people like that, though. Yeah. I'm not one of them. I'm sorry. I said, <laughs> give her, if you want me to do it, we got to compromise or it ain't happening. How about that? Word. Man. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't, I don't, but that is a valid, that is a valid question for a woman to yeah. ask because men yeah. do not be trying to bend. Like, we do ask, like, some crazy, wild stuff, mm-hmm. you know? And, and that women goes be, into the currency. That goes into yeah, the, like pay, the currency. Yeah, like, yeah, paying for what they want with they, you know, sexual Y'all, I, I guess, I don't, I don't know, because you can't, you can't just, you can't just be like, well, that's just the way it is. It's like, that's fucked. I mean, you're right. Up, that's why we need to feel this vibe. Like, okay, so say for instance, it's not a relationship. You just met a girl. She want to be spontaneous, or just met a guy. Whoop de doo. And it's random as hell. It goes back to, are you gonna trust somebody to be all up, you know, the first time, or are you gonna think? Because curiosity killed the cat, and I think about this every day because mm-hmm. sexuality is so open now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have nothing against nobody and their sexuality, but it is so open to where you could think you're in a heterosexual relationship and you're not. Wow. 
and You're people right. are still in the closet and new STDs are out. You have to be mindful. It's a comfortability. And it's people are curious. I know mm. something right now and, you know, I don't have a problem with them, but it just behooves me. Like, I'd be amazed. Yeah, I'm not that in, in uh, you know, because it's, it's gone to another level. Now when you be like nasty, somebody be like, oh, I'm nasty. You be like, <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like uh, I'm a what is, you're a what w- yeah right. like a what does this entail really <laughs> you know and then they just like go on they'd be like you'd be like don't find it like no. <laughs> what happened to the days of sex like <laughs> now we just fall out just we you ever heard that? Words. You ever seen that little TikTok video when they was talking about that? They was like, "No, I'm nasty. I do some nasty shit. I be eating <laughs> pussy upside down and shit. Oh, that right. shit, yo, that shit had me rolling. <laughs> the shit them niggas was saying, I was like, oh nah, yo. <laughs> I think that was the same video when the motherfucker was like, yo, I nut in the ass crack. Have you called CPS and tell the, the kids is in the crack house? I was like, yo, what? the fuck? <laughs> right. I was like, dog, you got to be motherfucking kidding me, yo. Motherfuckers is crazy, but people take that shit to a whole nother damn level. That's like, true. it truly is. But, you know, I would say this, though. When it comes to that shit, in my relationship, I, I'll be real. I'll be open on here. I'm a nasty motherfucker. I do some nasty shit. But I do have a boundary to my nastiness. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like people should have that type of boundary. They, I mean, not my type of boundary, but there should be boundaries in in a relationship because with the sexual relationship of things, everybody has a safe word. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody can go but so far. Because okay. there's, we can't say that, that somebody has explored each and everything when it comes to sex because this... It's, it's a journey in itself. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's new shit that people figuring out every single day. So nobody has the master key to unlock all the fucking sex. So it's like, we, you know, some people can go further than others. You know what I'm saying? The boundary is up. Now, I'm, I'm not nothing with the butthole. But I'll be real. Gooch, you take the gooch, man. That, I'm with that. <clears throat> All right. Now, I can't, I just can't go no further than that. I mean, you never say never. I'm not judging anybody. It's a big question. Mm-hmm. You know, Cray Nuke, you on the line? Where you at on? I don't know. He's in and froze. But go ahead, go ahead. So, you know, for me, I know that the people that I deal with are going to have boundaries, and that's going to make me feel safe. Mm-hmm. No matter how much love I have for a person or how much curiosity I may have. You want to look at it in all spectrums and mm-hmm. you want to have that trust and trust is hard to get i don't trust myself and i don't trust 100 and mm-hmm. that comes with time and wisdom so for me it's going to be on a relationship perspective for others they're so curious that they don't care and they live their life you got one life to live you know whatever their reason could be mm-hmm. whatever triggers them mm-hmm. yeah but you're right i believe in safe words too mm-hmm. Because if, if something you already tried and you abuse it, then yeah, I have a safe word for that. Oh, yeah, I mean, I feel you on that. That's real. I mean, that shit, it, nah. You ever did it? I've never experienced that. A man has put his finger in, you know, a guy that I trust. And yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah. understand. But Why if you- I never did that to them. Like women slap men's ass or something like that. Mm. Or, you know, a woman may grab a man's ass during sex to show that she likes it. It's good. It depends on what it is. But, 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 oh, hell no. My dudes. <laughs> I'd be so happy if they did whip my ass for that because I would be a little concerned. Hmm. So you, but you, but on one end, you're saying, why can't it be reciprocated? Yeah, like, it's a G spot. It's obviously there. God created humans. And, and, you know, we found out about these things, hmm. knowledge. We can go deeper, but I'm not. And so, in the midst of it all, why not? You got people who are switching their selves to a different gender because they want to explore what else is out there. A woman has over 10,000 nerves in her clitoris in that G-spot, and a man has under just under 8,000. Mm. 
And so if you manipulate that, you can get other things, you know what I'm saying? And then people actually like it in the bud or whatever it is. You can't judge them. I mean, yeah, you, you can't. So you're saying we're limiting ourselves as men. Because no, I'm saying if you have a safe word and you're not as curious, that's your business. But mm-hmm. it's out there for a reason, and why not? Yeah. I mean, I understand. I totally understand. I get where you're coming from, from a psychological and a scientific aspect and an anatomy aspect. It's just that part of me I ain't comfortable with. I ain't. And that's your business, baby. You know what I'm saying? I feel you on that. <laughs> you gonna get what a motherfucker gonna give you. You gonna get what you give around these parts. I mean, Sorry. That's real. That's fucking real, man. We're gonna take a pause for the calls. Bow bow. Be right back. Like I was now, saying. Before. In relationships regarding we talking about G spots. <laughs> No. Can I put my finger in your booty hole, or is it the paralyzing nah, fear see, it, of being it. called gay? Is it the paralyzing yeah. fear of being called gay? What is it, gentlemen? Help me. It's not. I don't think it's even about that for me personally. I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker got to think. But it's all about what I feel comfortable with. If I don't feel comfortable with that, then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Boundaries in relationships is real. You know, and they they depending on how the relationship goes and if it keeps going boundaries do get tested you know sometimes they get pushed or sometimes they won't move at all what you stand on is what you stand on you feel what i'm saying but if you learn something new it's up to you to want to do that yourself me personally i always said you know people when it comes to shit like that i i'm not gonna call that gay because at the end of the day it's a woman and a man man a woman it, technically can't but call it not this. heterosexual what that's what i'm saying but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying in the context of what we're talking about you feel what i'm saying if there's a man and a woman you can't really call it that shit it's just something that i'm not comfortable with with doing i can't uh-uh, i can't fuck with that shit greg can probably say something different but i mean nah, i ain't rocking like right? Yeah. I don't. Not, I don't give a, I don't, I don't. I don't give a damn what you call it. Fingers ain't supposed to go in, no, in booty holes. Now, I mean, whatever you comfortable with is what you comfortable with. Honestly, I feel like sex. I feel like I, I don't know because I feel like sex has gotten so like desensitized. Like we just don't have any like privacy. Anymore. Yeah, everybody's just kind of just letting everything out. I feel like um, if that's what you want to do, like you know, it, sh- it should be private. It should be your choice. Mm-hmm. We've gotten into this place now where it's like <clears throat> we have to make statements in order to make ourselves feel secure about what it is that we do in our private lives. So it's like if you're not saying it out loud, then you're kind of just trying to hide it. But who? Who says that you have to bring it to the light? Who says that you have to be that vulnerable? You know what I'm saying? If everybody can see your weakness, of course they're going to fucking attack it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't you feel, think... Oh, go ahead. I, don't, I don't think it's necessarily about being gay or homosexual or any of that stuff. Um, if that's what pleases you, if that's your pleasure, you know, that's that's one thing. But... I don't feel like a man should have to, I don't feel like a man or a woman should have to succumb to someone else's sexual preference or needs because that's what they want. You know, if we talk and we discuss it like, yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? But you still want to do stuff, but you know that I'm not, I'm not, I don't want that done. You know what I'm saying? Reciprocated or whatever like that then you chose to be okay with me not wanting you to do that, you know? Or me wanting you to do that or whatever. But, I mean, that's just my, that's my, that's my take on it, my perspective. So what I'm hearing from a man's perspective, because I'm a woman and I like to be submissive in that setting if I'm comfortable with a guy. Um, Women have a lot of pressure, but in the event that you guys say you're just not comfortable because it, 
you know, you just not into that. Do you think that stems around an ego? Because it's a man's world at the end of the day. Men have this high projection and women have to step aside. And, you know, there is Congress women in office, but they're going to say congressmen when you speak about it as a whole. So in this particular situation, can we speak on how it can potentially be around the ego then if you're not comfortable or you say I mean, it's not gay, but... Um, it could have a little, it is a little bit of ego. Ain't, ain't even no bullshit around it. It's, it's always gonna have a little bit. It's a little ego in everything. So it's like in that situation, there is probably a little bit of ego, but it's still what I stand on. You know, you gotta have your morals. You know, what your morals and standards are as a person. If that's what you deem is not what you want to do, and that's your standard, like that's where you draw the line, and that's your boundary. That's that's you got all right to have that as an individual. Oh, I see it. Okay. I don't. I, I don't. I mean, it, it's interesting what you said earlier about is this being a man's world. Um, you hear that so so often, like you know, coming up, being raised up in this world, it's really not a man's world at all. Um, honestly, <laughs> the fact that men. The fact that we as men boast and we try to take over conversations and we try to push women off to the side and push them back and try to push them out of situations and name label ourselves uh, the, the head of the household and we come up with these religions that give men power and, and pretty much de-womanize women or, you know, make them seem like they're irrelevant or unimportant is just men trying to have some type of power of or or control over the dominating factor you know there are more women on this planet than there are men um without women there will be no there would be no future no woman or man would exist and honestly women this is a woman's world because when you look at it everything that we do as a humanity or society is for the woman um as far as from the way we talk to the way we dress to the way we act to the way we fight to the way we um to what we build you know what i'm saying everything is for the woman so like the woman has always been like the elusive figure the ghost <laughs> or the phantom in the background that puppeteers everything and shit and i honestly i just feel like women really don't understand how powerful they are but if they did understand how powerful they are that could be a fucking bad thing and I think that's why men um, in higher society have orchestrated it in a way that man seems like they have all the power or that this is a man's world. But aside from that, <clears throat> going back to what D, uh, what Comedic was talking about as far as like your standpoint, an ego, um, I, ego, I don't, I think ego is relevant. I don't think it's about ego. I think it's just about like what you what you want and what you don't want. Sometimes it's um dominant. You know, I feel I feel strong in my position, so I'm not going to let someone make me feel inferior by doing things that seem inferior, right? Right. But I don't think it's like that for most people. For me personally, it's not even about ego. It's just about I just don't want that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's not It's not comfortable. I don't feel cool about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not something I can go to sleep and be like, oh, that felt good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that... I mean, if, if people want to attack me, I'm not that sexual in that aspect. I don't go that far. You know what I'm saying? I, there's stuff that I will do and there's stuff I won't do. That's just something I'm not willing to... I'm not giving my booty hole up. I'm sorry. You well, know, this is how... It's payback time, niggas. Like, no, you want to do that shit for me? Then you know what? I'm about to get you slipping. If you get the too little too drunk. Oh, my so gosh, like, really. A, a lot mean, of dudes in today's overall. society like yeah. <laughs> A lot of guys nowadays will come forth and they'll say, like, yeah, they like that. But I don't, honestly, I don't know what to say against it. It's nothing you can say. It's just about I mean, preference. You're right. I agree with y'all. And, you know, from a woman's point of view, women do understand their worth, but they don't get credit for it, in my opinion. Here in me, a, a very strong, independent woman who's tried monogamy, who's tried heterosexual relationships, trial and error, been hurt, whatever, whoop-de-woo. Overall, sexuality is a mindset. 
you have to concentrate to come. So you have to be comfortable, yeah. But if you're not aware, or you trying to force a woman to do it, women do anything to keep their man happy, even if they're not comfortable. So why is it so biased on the other hand? We talked about ego, we talked about how you're not comfortable. What if it's the other way around, but yet the woman still does it, but she's more powerful, you know? So it's just a lot of controversy with this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, crack. Hold up, Dynasty. We gotta take a pause for the cause, man. We'll be back. Peace, people. Do you know the radio?